I want to talk to you now, inshallah. This is still part of my introduction. I li I'm a student of the, the order of surahs of the Qur'an also and how Allah organizes lessons in the Qur'an. And what I want to talk to you now about before I talk about Surah Al-Rahman is the next surah a little bit, just a little bit. What is the next surah? Does anybody know? Surah Al-Waqi'ah. Surah Al-Waqi'ah. Surah Al-Waqi'ah is interesting. It has a number of subjects. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to list five of them in order. What are the five main topics of Surah Al-Waqi'ah? I just want you to pay attention and see if you can remember. If you can remember, I am impressed. Because I know it's a lot. Five is a lot. Three was easy. This is five. So, five topics of Surah Al-Waqi'ah. The first of them, the first main topic that comes up, Allah calls them As-Sabiqoon, As-Sabiqoon. The first and the foremost, the highest ranking people in Jannah. Allah talks about them first. That's the first main topic of Surah Al-Waqi'ah. Okay. The second topic of Surah Al-Waqi'ah, the main topic, is Ashabul Yameen, the people of the right hand. Now, people of the right hand are also people of Jannah, yes? But Allah first talks about as-sabiqoon, as-sabiqoon meaning the premium package, the higher level, the best people. Then he talks about everybody else who also made it on board. So there's first class and there's economy class, Jannah also, but it's mentioned. So two classes of people, but they're both good. They're both making it. They're both saved. Okay. The third section is ashabu shimal ma ashabu shimal the people of the left hand. The people of the left hand are, are safe or in danger? They're in danger. So we've got two groups of people that are safe. As-sabiqoon, as the first and the foremost. Then as al yameen people of the right hand. Then as al shimal people of the left hand. How many subjects did I say the surah has? It has five, five main topics. And there's an introductory passage and there's a concluding passage, but five in the middle. I'm talking about the five in the middle. So one was As-Sabiqoon, As-Sabiqoon. Two was Ashabul al yameen Three was Ashabul shimal Four, four is Allah makes a list of some of the things that only Allah can do. You can't do it. أَأَنْتُمْ تَزْرَعُونَهُ أَمْ نَحْنُ الزَّارِعُونَ أَأَنْتُمْ تَحْرُثُونَهُ Are you planting seeds? Are you making the plants grow? Are you making the crop come out? Are you sending the water from the sky or we do that? Who does that? So he's, he makes a list of things that only he can do and we cannot do. That we see all around us. He puts, makes us humble. He makes us humble by showing us that he does things that we are incapable of. These are some of the creations of Allah. That can only be creations of Allah, they cannot be creations of ourselves. Right? So I'll give it a simple topic, the creations of Allah. The creations of Allah. Let's start from the beginning. We have four topics now. What was the first one? As-sabiqoon, as-sabiqoon. What was the second one? Ashabul yameen What was the third one? Ashabul shimal What was the fourth one? The creations of Allah. The creations that can only be Allah's creation. They can't be our creation. And the fifth one, the final one, is actually فَلَا أُقْسِمُ بِمَوَاقِعِ النُّجُومِ وَإِنَّهُ لَقَسَمٌ لَوْ تَعْلَمُونَ عَظِيمٌ إِنَّهُ لَقُرْآنٌ كَرِيمٌ It is a passage about the greatness of the Qur'an. It is about the Qur'an itself. How Qur'an is awesome. And it's actually one of the most beautiful places that describes the power of the Qur'an. Previously at George Mason University, I think the lecture is on YouTube somewhere, I talked for an hour or two just about this ending of Surah Al-Waqi'ah. And how incredible Allah describes the power of the Qur'an at the end of Surah Al-Waqi'ah. These are the five main subjects of Surah Al-Waqi'ah. The last one was the greatness of the Qur'an. I'm going to see if you guys remember now. Number one. I don't hear you. as sabiqoon as sabiqoon The first and the foremost. Number two. Ashabul al yameen Number three. Ashabul al shimal Number four. The, the creations of Allah. And number five, the greatness of the Qur'an. But I'm not talking to you today about Surah Al-Waqi'ah. I came to talk to you about Surah Al-Rahman. Surah Al-Rahman also has five subjects. Five subjects. Subject number one. 
the greatness of the Quran. What was subject number five in Surah Al-Waqi'ah? The greatness of the Quran. Subject number one in Surah Al-Rahman is Al-Rahmanu Allam Al-Quran. That's the greatness of the Quran being talked about. Okay. Subject number two in Surah Al-Rahman is Allah's creations. Ash-shamsu wal qamaru bi husban wal najmu wa shajaru yasjudan wa samaa rafa'aha wa wada'a al mizan. Oh my god, and it goes on. That's subject number two. The last subject of Surah Al-Waqi'ah was the greatness of the Qur'an. The first subject of Surah Al-Rahman is the greatness of the Qur'an. The second last subject, backwards, subject number four of Surah Al-Waqi'ah was what? Creations of Allah. And the second subject of Surah Al-Rahman is creations of Allah. The third subject of Surah Al-Rahman is judgment day, criminals that will end up in the hellfire. That's subject number three. What was subject number three backwards in Surah Al-Waqi'ah? Ashabu shimal Same people? Then subject number four, Allah says, وَلِمَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ جَنَّتَان Allah gives two jannahs to people who feared Him and He starts describing a jannah and a little bit later He says, وَمِن دُونِهِمَا جَنَّتَان And above and beyond that, there's even a better jannah I got for you. There's two more jannahs. So he talks about Jannah two times. One time a, a beautiful Jannah, and then he says, I got even a better Jannah for you. So you could say Jannah regular and Jannah deluxe package. Four and five. Jannah and better Jannah. What was subject number one and two? As-sabiqoon, as-sabiqoon. Ashabul yameen. The best of the best get the best Jannah. Subject number one and subject number five. Subhanallah. This is how Allah teaches lessons. Those of you that are teachers in the audience, sometimes when you teach a lesson and it's got five parts, a chapter has five lessons. When you review it, what do you do? Sometimes a good way to review a lesson is go in reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. And this technique is something Allah Himself teaches us in the Quran. This is one of the things I'm a student of. I like to study how ayat are organized in the Qur'an. How Allah constructs arguments in the Qur'an. How He makes us learn lessons that we won't forget. And it's hard to forget after this. If you can remember the five lessons of Surah Al-Rahman, you will already look for the five lessons repeated again in reverse order, in perfection in Surah Al-Waqi'ah. This is still again introduction. We haven't started the surah yet. 